Try again. Conclude. Conclude. Yeah. So, 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 I know, I know, but I, I can't, I can't hear you, and I can't hear myself. Yeah. So, so, I'm, I'm gonna carry on. I'm saying, if they do, can we move somewhere else? Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Yeah. Okay. Let me just go this side, please. Let's just move, cause you know why? Cause they're just heckling. It is better. It is better. Okay. All right. So let me, let me just repeat, sister. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So now. A man, a man is most vulnerable when it comes to intimacy. Let me put it again, yeah? A man is in his most vulnerable place and situation is when he requires intimacy. So, the biggest inequality is to treat unequal things equally. I'll repeat again. The biggest inequality is to treat unequal things equally. Good, do you accept that? Good. So what I'm seeing is there's studies that show this and we have Quran and the Sunnah that says that a man's biggest weakness is a woman. Biggest weakness, yeah? Now, I'm giving a scenario so we can understand. I am walking down the road with my wife at night time and a man in a balaclava comes out and pulls out a knife. Is my wife in a vulnerable situation? Yes. What does she require me to do? Protect her. To? Protect her. Protect her. If I run away, what would happen? She would be unprotected. She would call me a coward. You see, okay, let's stop there. I, I haven't finished my point. If I stop there, I haven't finished my point. Now, in her most vulnerable position, I have to do what? I have to be there for her. Do we all accept that? Does anybody have a contention about that? That when my wife is in a situation, or be that for any woman, if I see a Muslim woman and there's a guy with a knife, yes, I would step up or any man should step up to defend her. Do we all agree? I agree. Good. So we agree that when a woman is in her most vulnerable place, that she requires a man who is stronger than her to defend her. Good. Now let's go to, one second, my comparison. Let's go to the bedroom now. Now in the bedroom, the man is in his most vulnerable situation when he needs his wife intimately. When a woman says no, she is as good as doing what I would do to my wife if I run away in a fight. Do you accept that? No. Good. Now, you don't accept, you accept it? I'm sorry. You don't accept it? No, no, no. I don't accept it. Let's talk about it. No, 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 no. One second. One second. No, one second. What point do you not accept? The fact that she's left in a vulnerable state, her life could be harmed. Yes. Whereas a woman refusing sex to a man is yes. not. I, 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 irrelevant. The point is this. The point. No, 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 no. Can I make a point? No, no. One second. One second. No, no, no. Okay. Please stop. I'm, I'm talking too much. I'll stop talking, Karen. Please, Karen. Don't say, guys, guys. Don't say statement of kufr. Let's say. Can we let her talk? Can we let her talk? We're linking two different things. There's protection, and there is your. You protect anyone. If you are in danger, your friend is in danger and you need them, right? It, well, I'd, rather, I'd rather both, I'd rather me and him die than him run away and leave me. But say that again, say that again, say that again. I'd rather both of us die in danger, yes. right? Rather then, than he leave. Okay, then him running away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's that deep for you. In bed, but in bed, bed is different, you know? You're, you're horny, you can control your horniness. Whoa, whoa, are you speaking on my behalf? Uh, and behalf of all the men? You can't control you. All of you, all of you. I can't. I can control my holiness. No problem. Let's. Okay. No problem. No problem. Let's make a point. Let's talk. No. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So you made two comparisons, right? One of the one of the scenarios, the woman is spiritually sanctioned. If the man runs away as a coward, he's not yeah. being spiritually sanctioned. And I think that was your point, was it not? So why is it a case that in one situation there's a sanction and in the other situation there's a, there isn't? So in a that? societal context, maybe so, the man would be called a coward. But spiritually, he's not being encroached in any way, shape or form. One second. He is putting his life on the line. Yes. He's about to die for his wife. One second. One second. One second. My point is, if he doesn't do that, Ali, Ali Dawa. If he, if he doesn't protect his wife in that moment, yeah. will he be sanctioned? Will he be sanctioned? Yeah, will he be spiritually sanctioned? Of course, he'll be called a coward. No, would he be spiritually? Would God be sanctioning him? Well, Allah says in the Quran that men are the maintainers and protectors. Is there, he is, is there, he is, is there, he's sinful. He's sinful. He's sinful. He's sinful. But is he cursed? He's, he's sinful. No, sister, woman, sister. It's embarrassing from a woman, human to a yeah, human. Sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But from the God, woman, don't believe the eye of Allah. Guys, guys, we can't do it. Well, life, we do that. You didn't, you didn't refuse that. You know? Okay, okay am I speaking? Who am I speaking to? You choose. Uh, okay. Your choice. Can I? Can, I don't. I don't know what to do. Who do I speak to? Whoever you like. Whoever you like. Okay. Can I just? Can I just? Guys, please. The more we talk, the, like the conversation. Please. Now, I'm telling you something, Aki. 
if a man doesn't protect and he doesn't provide, he is sinful because Allah tells him men are the maintainers and protectors of women. So my think, job is what? Of course, if I if I don't provide shopping for my house, I don't pay the rent. I am transgressing the rights of my wife. So if I'm getting I'm sinful and I'm with my wife, I run away. I'm sinning. You are because you know you you are sinful because you are the maintainer and protector. Now, okay, please, 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 sister, sister. The point is, look, the point is, it wasn't even about the point. It wasn't even about Guys, we're not gonna have a free discussion if we speak over each other. Please. He's been speaking for so long. Don't be a hypocrite, please. My dear sister, he's speaking on your behalf. Why are you having to go at me? He's stopping you speaking. I'm not speaking on anyone else's behalf. Okay, okay, okay. Am I speaking to you or him? I'm going to speak to you from now on. Nobody else get involved. Okay, sister, carry on. No, no, don't anyone speak, sister. I'm speaking to you. Please go talk. You made a point. I made a point, but it was ignored. What's your point, sister? The point is, yes. in Islam, it's about... You didn't have a good response to it. You didn't have a good response. No, no, no. Can Yes. 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 No, I'm so sorry, but do you see what you're doing here? Let's. Okay, you know what? No, 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 stop. No, no, because because you're gonna you're doing this again. You're, you're leaving her point. You did this with me. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm addressing the point. We left the point. We left the point. The point was. The point was. All of you men. All of you men cannot control your horniness. No problem. That is a hype because you can't control having sex. You should be sister. You should be pure in your Sister, sister, sister. Sister, the Prophet Sallallahu said, the biggest weakness for a man is not money, it's not a house, it's not a car. speaking for all men? For every single man that walks this earth. Now, um, because we follow Islam, because we follow Islam, we follow what the Messenger of Allah said. So, therefore, and forget that, I can show you studies. Bro, I'm going to read you a study now. No, no, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. Not Sheikh Google, it's called Sheikh Study. Yeah? Not Google, yeah? Google Scholar. D yeah, Google Scholar, no problem. You can call me milkshake if you like as well. Strawberry flavor, yeah? No problem. Now, let's read the study. Sister, 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 please listen. I'm going to read it, please listen carefully, yeah? Okay, let's put Quran Sunnah for a side for now. A sex drive. Please listen carefully, sisters, please. The sisters that belittle a man's sex drive, you can just control it. Let's listen. A sex drive refers to the strength of sexual motivation. Across many different studies and measures, men have been shown to have more frequent, I repeat again, more frequent and more intense sexual desires than women. Understood? Let me carry on. As reflected in spontaneous thoughts about sex, frequency and variety of sexual fantasies, desired frequency of intercourse, desired number of partners, masturbation, liking for various sexual practices, willingness to forgo sex, initiating verses, refusing sex, making sacrifices for sex and other measures. Listen carefully. No contrary. I'll repeat again. N-O, not K-N-O-W. N-O. No contrary. Look, 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 look. Do you see? He's just basically saying, Yanni talk. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Now, I'm going to repeat that statement. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. No contrary findings indicating stronger sexual motivation among women were found. Hence, we conclude that the male sex drive is stronger than the female sex drive. Last sentence, last sentence, last sentence. The gender differences in sex drive, oh yeah, that's something else. Okay, now, this is a kuffar, non-Muslims, carrying out a study. Now, no, 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 one second, no, one second, one second. We said that okay. when it's when it's when it's a man they and his wife is it. Wallah. Wallah, you're not sorry, sorry. Please no, allow me. Because no, you know why? Because I know, I know, but if I don't make these points, they're gonna to jump to that. Please, please. No, no, now, I've quoted a study, not Google. This is a study, I can give you the reference. Now, when a man is in danger, a woman is in danger, all the sisters go, he has to protect. She said, I'd rather die with him than him running away. Socially, one second, natural. one second. No, that's not. No, that's not. That is an aspect of a man to protect his wife. Now, 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 now. Now, guys, 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 sister, 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 one second. Why is the double standards? And why is this hypocrisy? Sister, sister, please. I'm talking to you, sister. Please listen. Why is it? And this is what really annoys me about some sisters, not all. 
when her life is in danger, he better be there protecting me. I don't care if he has an AK-47, I don't care if he has a pistol, I don't care if he has a knife. You have to defend me. Okay, I'll sacrifice my life and die for you. But when I come to you to bed for intimacy, you can say no to me. And when you say no to me and the angels curse me, come on, get out of here. Now, please tell me, sister, please review my points. Now, tell me why is my comparison and the studies I've given wrong? No one said it's wrong. Nobody said they're wrong. Yeah, they could be right since you've got enough people to follow whatever you want. Okay, but that does not stop, that does not negate the idea or negate the point that horniness is a feeling that you can control. Excuse Allah me. tells you to control it, lower your gaze when you see a woman. Exactly. That's a job. Even if it's a man your own woman. You know, if you marry the woman and you're, you're using this hadith and you're like, okay, but it's a Control you're yourself against them. your wife? Brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? No, 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 one second, one second, brothers, did she listen to me when I spoke? Okay, then why are we not quiet when she speaks? Listen to her, guys, she's making a point. Please listen. Wallah, it's not nice. She listened to me when I spoke. I know, but Aki, when you do that, the topic goes somewhere else. Speak, sister. No, 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 carry on. There you go. You see? Okay. Oh, are you finished? The sister, tell me you're finished. How am I supposed to know? Okay, are you finished? So you're not finished? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know the hadith. Can you mention to me? I don't remember recalling that. Yeah, he takes away hijab. Yeah. No, no, I don't know about the hadith that takes away hijab. I talk about, know, there's a hadith about if she beautifies herself and fragrance and wears heels. That's a different one you're talking about. Yeah, it doesn't say uh, no hijab. No, no, please. No, 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 can, you, can, you, can you tell, can you rebuke the point that I made, sister? The, let's stick to that. Intimacy. Okay. The point, oh, the point, the point. Okay, the point, the point, the point, the point, the point was very clear, yeah? Sister, sister, are you telling me? Sister, 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 sister. Men do, yeah, he proved that. And that's it. That's, it doesn't mean that women has to be sanctioned. Brothers, I'm going to have to move away. Wallah, I'm going to have to move away. No, brothers, 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 we're doing the point it again. That she was making, brother. Brothers, brothers, yeah, Aki, I beg you. Aki, please, man. Aki, thanks for making. Yeah, but Aki, please, I beg you, Wallah. Wallah, may Allah bless you. I love you, but please allow me. There's no doubt. Okay, now, 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 one second, one second. Sister, sister, sister. If my wife, not my wife, a man's wife no, wants free, intimacy. Wallahi al I swear upon the Rabbul Kaaba. If a woman came here today and said, you know what? My, wife, my husband is not giving me sex. Wallahi, you guys will cause outrage. Everybody yes, you will. Do that. This oh, is a societal thing, my God. Then why is it when we. What's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it? Check this out, check this out. When a man wants intimacy from his wife, he should be patient. When a woman wants intimacy from his husband, there's outrage. No, she should be patient as well. The man should be patient, the woman should be patient. Yeah, exactly. Just be Why you asking? You're creating the Sister, 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 sister. sister. We follow Islam. And in Islam, a woman came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he said to the Prophet, my husband doesn't sexually satisfy me. The Prophet gave, allowed her to have divorce. Her right is intimacy. You have no right to deny his intimacy. Now, you can choose to, if you want to say no, that's up to you. But guess what? She has a right to go and get divorced. If she goes to a scholar and says, my husband doesn't. According look, 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 according look, look, according, according to the Sharia. Sister, we don't follow your opinion. We follow Islam and Sharia. Let me make that clear. If a woman goes to the Sheikh and says, my husband, look, look, not doesn't give me sex. He doesn't sexually satisfy me. Meaning, he does, but he doesn't satisfy me. She has a right to seek divorce. Not a single man here can tell her, oh, what kind of a woman are you? Shut up. She has a right for intimacy. He's not pleasing her. She has a right to divorce. What would the feminists do? Woo! Takbir! Come on, guys. Takbir! Allah, 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 Allah. But when it's a man, shh, be patient. Control your desires. Hypocrisy. So, sister, once again, now let me ask you a question. In this scenario, let's go to the scenario of the angels cursing the woman. Who is here to blame? Check this out. As a Muslim man, guys, are we allowed to have girlfriends? Brothers, I'm talking to you. Hello? No, Are we allowed to have girlfriends? No, no, no. Side chicks? No, no, no. Mistresses? No, no, no. Meaning what? We have to lower our gaze. So, it's not like the non-Muslim men who are like, you know what? I'm bored of my wife. Let me go and sleep around. We can't do that. So when we're out and about, or for example, we desire a woman, a wife. And, no, no, no. I'm so sorry, sister. Sister, wallahi, our Islam and your Islam is somewhere else. Let me tell that clearly. You know why? Because if a man is going home, can you imagine protecting himself? Lowering his gaze. Provides for her financially, works aimless, and then little Chen comes home and says, 
Can we have intimacy? And she goes, no. Who is oppressing who? She is oppressing him. She's not, bro. She's a two. Tell me how. Tell me how. Tell me how. So, excuse me? Sister, you're changing the topic. I was talking about perfume. Sister, no, like, sister, not, not, I'm not talking about perfume, intimacy. Sister, I'm talking about intimacy. You're changing the topic. I'm saying intimacy. What is your problem with the angels, angels cursing the woman that is abusing her husband by not giving him intimacy? How is that abuse? I don't want to have sex. I'm abusing you. What part is abuse? Brothers, did you, did you hear the study that I showed? Okay, one second. One second. Okay, good, good, good. Check this out. You know what she's saying? You know what she's saying? Go and violate Allah's laws, but I'm not going to give you what you want. Let me tell you something. A woman like that, let me tell you something. Sister, masturbation is haram. You're saying to him, go and commit haram. Go and commit. Look, look, check this out. Check this out, guys, guys. Look, look. Sister, 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 sister. Guys, are we all men? One second, one second, one second, one second. One second. Are we men? Yeah. How hard is it for us to control our sexual desires? Not that hard. One well, second, let the men talk! Man, brother, man. brother, you're a different type of man. What, what, what do you mean, yes, man, you must be good telling me though. No, no, I'm so sorry. You're if you're telling me you're, you're not like that, then you're it's, I'm so sorry. No, you're so if you're saying that, you're are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, forgive me. I, I thought you was a uh, regular. Forgive me, I'll take it back. No, I asked how... I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I, thought, I thought you were an atheist making it. I apologise. On camera, I apologise to this brother and I ask him to forgive me. Do you, do you forgive me? I don't accept it, brother. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry, I ask for forgiveness. I'm sorry, I ask for forgiveness. He's only yellow as a girl. I asked, for, I asked for apology. I didn't know who he was. I made an assumption because he's dead uh, saying things. Anyway. Al Imran, Surah 40. Yeah. Okay. About desire of men. No, I know, I know. Give it, just give me one second. I'm going to come to that. Yeah? So now, guys. Guys, check this out. Guys, guys. Guys, check this out. A man provides, protects, he, he works endless nights, pays the rent, electricity bill, looks after his family, etc. And he comes home. And this is his wife. And he just wants intimacy. And guess what? Does the hadith say, force yourself upon your wife? No, it doesn't. It just says if he's angry, the angels curse. And what's our sister saying? No, even if you provide, protect, this, that, and no sense. What kind of a planet are you living on? What kind of a planet are you living on? And this is the hypocrisy of feminism, the disease of feminism that's infiltrating our sisters, that this comes from a sister in hijab. Unbelievable. A woman, wallahi, let me tell you something. And I'll tell you, speak to my other sisters as well, yeah? You imagine you have a husband. You look after the kids, you, make, you look after him, you're good to him, you're loyal to him and you do all of this and when you're on the road the man pulls out a knife, he says, I don't have a right, I don't need to protect you. How would you feel? How would you feel sisters? I'm asking you. Would you be happy? Would you be happy sister? No, you wouldn't. Look, these are our sisters, alhamdulillah, at least I haven't been affected by this. Yeah? But the point is this. My dear sister, are you still there? My dear sister, my dear sister does anybody agree with what the sister is saying? Look, let me give you an example, yeah? And maybe you will understand, yeah? My dear sister, my dear sister, my dear sister, are you still in the conversation? I'm still in the conversation. Okay, sister. You've been talking, rambling. I'm That's fine, sister. Hamza, sister, you can lose interest if you like. It is disappointing that a woman who observes the hijab is here, number one, rejecting a hadith. It's disappointing that a man who says that they're a Muslim yes. and says that they listen to the hadith is using scientific research yes. to justify holiness. That is embarrassing. So, so it's embarrassing. Once it's embarrassing that as you men we have a higher sex, sexual drive. And can you imagine we're blamed now? You're you men, that look. That's a Sister, so being horny is not aib. It's, it's, uh, that's what Allah said. You get married. Nowhere in Islam does. Sister, can you show me where in the Quran or the Hadith that it says to be horny is aib? Is it sin or is wrong? So we're talking about. Sister. So okay, it's bad akhlaq. One second, it's bad akhlaq to be horny and want to have intimacy with your wife. Sister, what planet do you live on? What line? I didn't say that you're putting words into Okay, clarify, 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 clarify. You know, the idea that they're obligated to give it to you, or the idea that... Not obligated, because the hadith would say, force yourself upon her. Does the hadith say that? It says, no. It says, if the husband said, can we have intimacy? She says, no. He goes to sleep, upset, the angels curse her. You're not even, you know what she goes? Okay, the angels not even allowed to curse her. Okay, no problem. One second. I'm going to give you another, uh, same example. You're, you have a husband. He provides, protects, good to the kids, shopping, rent, everything he provides for you. You walk down the road, a man pulls a knife. He says, I am not obliged to protect you. Would you be upset? Would you be upset? Of course. You'd be look, upset. look, 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 look. Look at this. Of course. Okay, but you look, move on. My, you move on. 
My dear sister, that husband of yours, or whoever, if you, I don't know, anyway, this man, he will move on with another woman. Wallahi, I tell you, if your wife, let me tell you, no, sister, Wallahi, look her, she goes, I would be upset if my husband, after doing all of that, being married to for so long, look, 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 look. I'll be upset, but if a man is upset, no, 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 no. Wallahi, sister, Wallahi, Wallahi, do you guys agree with her? Wallahi, all I'm going to say is that, do you agree with what she said? Please, sister. Say that, sister. Of course, sister. Thank you. Now look, our sister, may Allah bless her, is reasoning. If a woman is heavily pregnant, if she's on a period, if she's been working all day looking after the kids, like even then there can be a compromise, there can be understanding, yeah? At least there is understanding because we're not saying she's working, uh, like she's looking after three kids. The man works. Come home and help your wife. Cater for that. Make, put the kids. No, no, it's not fine, sister. What, you're, what she's saying, may Allah bless her, what you're saying are mountains apart. Why? Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, Adim, what you're saying is against Islam. Because you're saying, you know why? Sister, 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 that woman is abusing sexually her husband. If a man, let me tell you, and any feminist would agree. Okay, but if a man is constantly mm -hmm. angry at her for saying no to sex. No, 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 not is angry. That not, is, that not, is that not abuse, man? No, no, that no, 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 sister, sister, sister. If a woman is sexually frustrated and her husband is saying to her no 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 i even we might check if this woman ended up falling into haram yeah the scholars might even maybe maybe even blame the man and say okay what happened my wife committed zina she shouldn't okay why and the woman says this man hasn't given me sex for two years the scholars will turn to him and say what kind of a haiwan are you? An animal you are. You're an animal. Hold on a second. Yani, this woman, she has a right to intimacy. Yeah? And you'd be saying no if to her. A human has a right to intimacy, but it's not. No, a no, no, she doesn't. If a woman comes and he can reject her and she has a right not to be angry, she should celebrate it. She still flowers in the air. Ooh. Come on, sister. What are you talking about? Please. I'm so sorry. And by the way, the reason why I'm so harsh, forgive me, is because this ideology is penetrating intellectually our sisters, yes, who are watching at home and getting this idea of, yeah, I can't, no, no, no. Wallahi. What is it? No, look, 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 look. And this no. is the issue. If, you're, if your husband went and got a second wife, you blame him. No, why did you get a second wife? You give me no sense. No, no, because second. He should ask permission from his boss. No, he doesn't need to ask for permission. He does not ask me to ask for permission. Then I shouldn't he need to ask, to ask permission. permission from Muharram to go out. Sister, well, like, why, why sister, I, submit to Islam, not feminism. I, I have you have not, sister. It's My not dear sister, 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 you are you are drenched in feminism. You are drenched in feminism. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. Wallahi, sister, sister, just the way you said you'll be disappointed and upset with your husband if he doesn't defend you. You upset with your wife she doesn't. Then why are you saying, why is he angry with me if I don't give him sex? So one second, one second, one second. The Prophet said, the Prophet Sallam said, the woman gets cursed. What's your problem? Do you have a problem with the message of Allah? Sister, sister. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the woman gets cursed. You have a problem. Do you have a problem, sister, with that? I'm asking you. You have a problem with Allah and His Messenger. This is feminism. Sister, if sister, if the Prophet stood in front of you and said, my dear sister, shh, the Prophet came to you and said, no, 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 sister, 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 if the Prophet came to you and said, my dear sister, if your husband wants intimacy and you don't give it, you are cursed, what would you say to him? If the message of Allah was in front of you and he said these exact words, that if your husband who provides and loves and protects you and he wants and he says and he says that he wants intimacy yes no it does it means he's cursed all night the angels curse her of course it does yes it does it does mean that it does mean that it's actually it's actually a major sin no 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 sorry no the, the scholars the scholars the scholars say anytime the messenger mentions curse it's a major sin so one second, one second. Sister, 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 sister brother, Aki, 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 please, let's, Aki, let's not show up for our religion, please. Prophet didn't say she is cursed. She is cursed. He angels will curse her all night. That doesn't mean she, Prophet said you are cursed. He's just saying what, okay. what is going to happen. Okay, is the angels cursing the woman? All night, yeah. Is that a curse? That, that no, 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 that is, it's not the same thing. 
If you say you are cursed, okay. it's a totally different thing. Okay, I'm so sorry. I totally disagree with what I'm I say. sorry, you're just adding something which is I'm, right. I'm so sorry, bro. I don't... I don't I'm sorry. Yeah, anyway. I'm sorry. I, I totally disregard what you're saying because we have a clear hadith that says the woman will be cursed till, till the morning. Let's not shout with each other. I'm not shouting. Now, if the Messenger of Allah said that to you, yes, what would you reply to him? If he said the woman will be cursed till the morning for rejecting his, uh, her husband, what would you say to him? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now what I'm saying is this, but why are you so upset about it, sister? It's a conversation. Okay, but what, no, no, but why are you so, what, what is the issue where you are, look, let me tell you something. Okay, let me put it like this to you, yeah? I believe a woman who has been good to his hus her husband, very good, looks after kids, and walking down the road, and her husband runs away, Wallahi, I will not blame that woman if she said, May Allah curse you. Wallahi, I will not blame her. Wallahi, I will not blame her. Because you know why? She was at her most vulnerable. That man could have killed her. And Wallahi, you know what? If she said, I'm going to divorce him, I'll say, Sister, you know what? Wallahi, this man, this man is a coward. I believe it is everybody's duty to protect one another. If that's your friend, you're not going to run away, are you? No, no, it's your wife. He runs away from the. If it was your friend, you'd do the same thing. Which one's closer, friend or wife? It depends on the Wife? Come on, come on, man. Come on, I'm a, my, 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 I have my friends, I have my brothers, yeah? But my wife, who shares my life with me, has, has children with me, she's a part, come on, she's my, like, she, she, do you get what I'm trying to say? Come on, no, 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 no. If I did, wallahi, the entire Muslim community, her parents, my dad, my friends will all flip in with me. They're with me in public. They say, you are a coward for leaving your wife and running away like a coward. They will whip me, you know what I'll say? You know what I'll say to them? Sister. I look the children, I won't cook for you. I won't practice deen with you. The, the Islamic community will fight against the woman. It's the same thing. No, no, what I'm saying is this. Yeah. The point is this, the same thing would happen. Yeah? But you are, you, I just cannot believe the way you undermine a man's sexual urges. Just because, you know what it is? You know, you know what it is? It's like me saying, it's like me saying this. Sisters, why are you guys talking about your pregnancy? I need you just push it out, halas. I need you push it out, and you make it such a big deal. Wallahi al-Azim, the feminist community will come here and stone me next week. If I belittled, you know why? I don't know how it's to be pregnant. I don't know what it takes. Why do women come and say, like, they come and tell us how bad it is. It's as good as having 30 or 40 of your bones um, broken or something like that. Imagine me belittling that. You are belittling a man's sexual urge by saying, but what's the big deal? Get rid of come on. You are just using a woman. Who should I use, sister? Go and sleep with a, 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 a other woman. You know, a wife can. La ilaha illallah. Wallahi, my temperature is hot. My I didn't take my jacket off. Do you know that? Well, I'm hot. My blood sugar levels have gone up. I've got blood pressure, bro. Blood pressure in this age. You're doing something wrong. This conversation. Very young. This conversation. Ah, conversation. Why are you blaming me? I was involved with the sexual. I didn't say head. The reason I'm saying this, yeah, and sometimes I'm a little bit harsh, you know why? Because at the end of the day, I want the best for you. If this is my own sister, if this is my own sister, where you come from? Filipino and ignorant. Look how he behaves. If you were my own sister, I would be silly. You know why? Because I want the best for you. If we were in a Muslim society, we would still have a You would cut my throat. Okay, all I'm saying is, my passion is because you're my sister and the statements you're saying can be why we know sisters who left before the Islam. Why? Because they got indoctrinated by feminism and all this pathetic notion. The reason I'm saying this is you know why? She's your own way in Islam. She's going to always have to control. What does she's your own way mean? So it's going against Allah's methods or it's not? No, so what do you mean by that? So how do you choose your own way? So you're doing it with Allah. Yeah, and practice your deen before you start. Reaching other people, you start believing other people, she's going to back to you. And in Canada, if it was fair for you, you'll move on and, and you start. Practicing. No, I know, sister, but what I, I know, but what I'm saying, sister, is this because 
Our conversation is not just we are 30 people, millions are going to watch this. And imagine a sister at home who's watching this and going, well, hold on a second. I need to make this point for the sister at home or the brother. Number one, the brother knows the duty that he's a maintainer and protector. He should never run away when his life's in danger. Yeah? It's the same way we're saying we just want consistency. If I'm willing to put my life on the line and die for you, my wife, when I come home and I want to see you, man, I want a mere intimacy, brother. I'm dying at one. I'm gonna, can you imagine me? I'm dying at one. The other one is, oh, I truly, I just don't want to give you this. What is an option? The other one is, I have no choice but to put my life on the line and I might die. I'm willing to die for you and you're not willing to give me intimacy. Like, like, how, what, what, what kind of person is that? Which one's worse? Dying or, or not dying? Are you afraid of death? Yes, I'm very afraid of death. Why? I'm very afraid. Why? Well, yeah, there's a hadith of the Prophet from, from Aisha from Anha. She, she even said, I'm afraid of death as well. But that doesn't mean you, you don't uh, want to meet Allah. So all this, because I don't know what death entails. Inshallah, I'm Jannah, I'm scared. You know, may Allah accept me. What's going to say, Samadhi? Where from the dinner? Of course, I'm going to be scared. I mean, I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. No, 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 okay, you're saying the kids, one second, just to check this out, yeah? If I, if, if a man dies for his wife, in about a couple of months or years, he's going to move on with another man. No, 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 one second. The point is, in one scenario, the man dies, janaza, you know, janaza, salah, you finish, yeah, do janaza, make two apples. In the other scenario, the woman is just choosing not to give intimacy for what reason? A valid reason is understandable. I'm on my menses, I'm heavily pregnant, I've got back aches. I'm not feeling well, I've been looking after the kids, understandable, which animal will go and say, no, you have to, no, what I'm saying is, this is an unreasonable woman, and guess what, you know what this has shown, it shows that the woman is the transgressor, and using sex uh, to blackmail the uh, husband, that's what she's doing, so I don't know how, how the hadith is made to seem as if the man is wrong, this is showing how a woman is transgressing, I'm not saying the man is wrong, no, no, no. I'm but saying this is showing that the woman is the one who's saying no for no reason. I and it, mean, I thought we moved on from the point that we're both victimizing the I thought we made it clear no, 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 that, no, that no, we made it clear that what the hadith said we accepted. I accepted the hadith. I always accepted the hadith. I was arguing on the nuance of the hadith. No, no, why would you argue? You can argue something you don't believe in. You believe That's in it? That's why I'm here. I'm here to argue. You believe in it? I still believe in it, but I don't believe in it. No, no, I still believe in it. It's a hadith. You can believe in the hadith. You believe in the hadith. You believe that you can walk out of the street and the man and the man could be the husband. They don't have sex with you. You can believe that, yeah. No, 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 you can believe that. You believe that. Yeah, fine, let's say yes. Let's say yes. No, 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 don't say yes. That's what you know, Lord. I'll stand my bit. I'll try to make you understand. If you want to carry on and reject a hadith of the Prophet because for some arguing. reason, because a woman, a woman is violating her husband by not giving intimacy. By the way, the hadith doesn't say, oh man, go and force yourself. He says, no, go to sleep, angry. Okay, can you imagine? Oh, I don't care. Okay, forgive me again once again, my life, because I care about you. No, 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 I'm saying that because I get passionate. But is there any other hadith that, for example, guys, I just want to understand something. For example, a man can have four wives and a woman. Do you have an issue with that? Okay, I, think, I think a lot of people have an issue. No, 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 not liking it, not liking it and having an issue with different things. So you might say, you know what, it's from Allah. We, we're here, we obey. Would I want my husband to do it? No, that's a different story. I think that's that one. Exactly. So, I'm saying, well, who's smoking for God? I would have been loud. Uh, <laughs> and he says, I have to be Okay, do you have a problem with the ayah, the legislation, or you wouldn't want your husband to do it? Who is the ayah? I don't know. I just have a problem with the practice. No, what do you mean by practice? The practice. The best of women has come. Well, who's smoking cigar? Well, I can't believe it. Who's, where's it coming from? Is it too shallow? Sorry, it's just uncomfortable. I would have been my lungs in the first place. Yes, sorry. So you're just saying basically that like, you wouldn't want your husband to do it. And you say, come on, look, I shall have your anger smashed, please. The best of women has come. We know. We know you can get angry. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you know what? One thing is that someone with anger and jealousy is fine. As long as you don't have an issue with the eye itself. 
he has to provide for you and protect you. Go 50-50, not winning a fight. Hey, listen, you get the first cut, I'll get the second cut. No, no, no. He has to go, even if he gets knocked out. And if the woman works, how's she going to work with you? Marriage to something, which has happened. Okay, let's say the woman can't get pregnant. Okay, let's just. That's a very, that's an exception to the rule. Let's talk it generically. So all these women are going to be 50 50. Yeah, but, right, you're, no but, you're, but you're assuming that the woman's not working anymore. No, no, no. She can. Her money is her money. Yeah. Yeah. When she works part time, as long as she's not. She no, no, no. Like me personally, me personally, I told my wife she wants to work part time. That doesn't go against my right. Meaning, if she's working long hours and I come home, you know, have a work long hours and there's no food on the table, of course I'll be upset because I've been working. You know, I was wanting food. Yeah. So if she's up, I've worked, I'll say, look, you don't work, I'll work. I just, I just want my wife at home. So, so, yeah. so let me get this right. I'm going to go work long hours. And I'm gonna come home and cook for myself. So, come on, guys, man. Come on, guys, man. Let's not even let's not even Disneyland, guys. It's not chocolate. It's not Charlie in the chocolate factory. My dear sister, no, no. If if the, look, if the situation is where they both have to work, I'm saying a traditional man and a traditional woman. She wants to stay at home, yeah, and he is working. Okay, if they're both working, if they are both working long hours, well, of course there has to be some kind of compromise. I'm talking about a traditional man that's providing for the husband, the wife, and the wife is at home. I mean, the best thing that you minimum would accept is a um, traditional food. That's it. And I think most traditional women have a problem with that. What he's talking about is having the same thing What about traditional? Yeah, traditional men want traditional women. Traditional men want traditional women. No, no, not my ones. What men want, even non-Muslim men. Even if it's always dark, exceptions don't make the rule. I'm telling you, generally, a man does not like a woman who has a past. In the context, she slept around. A traditional man wouldn't want that. A traditional woman would want a man who can provide, protect, and is a leader and makes certain decisions. That's what a woman wants due to what I've heard in So I'm saying that a man has certain needs a woman expects, and a woman has certain needs a man expects. Okay, let's go to the so, so what's that? Is, so, so what's that? Okay, does the man want to go work long hours for her? So then why are you doing this? No, no. This is the problem. Why do I need to switch roles? Okay, where is this term? You can say a woman has to cook and clean and... This is one thing, look, check this out. Look, check this out. A man goes and works, no questions asked. 12-hour shift man works for his family, does it for to support his family and the future. No one backs an eye. The moment he says, I want food, Yallah, how could you ask for food? Oh my God. Wallahi, this is injustice. Wallahi, this is injustice. Can you imagine? Okay. A woman cleaning, okay, you know what? You know what? And dealing with the would you, man. Would you, would you want a man who tells you to go work and eat food? No way. Women are, women are hypergamous by their nature, and if you was working, you know what you do? You replace that man like that. Because you want a man who provides and protects. Can you imagine you're going working, and then when you have an argument, check this out, check this out. Check this out. I'm telling you how male men are. Traditional men who have traditional values, and within our fitna, we want to protect and provide. You know why? Look, does anyone have kids? Do anyone have kids? No? Okay. A woman, does she love the fact that she can provide for her baby? Is that something maternal? Yes, she loves it. As men, we love the fact that we can provide for our wife. We love it. The moment, the moment, the moment, the moment, a, a woman says, no, I'll go work at Sitwa, guess what? You know when you have an argument, and the wife, you know, our sisters, their tongues are like razor. They fight you, yeah? Imagine she comes and says, I provide for this house. Wallahi. To a man, she's going to punch him in the face. Imagine your wife coming and saying, who pays the shopping? Who pays the rent? And he's there like a machine. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, but that's what men do. Oh, well, men do as well. Men I'd ra rather hang myself. I'd rather hang myself. You know why? Because let me tell you, yeah? I have a discussion with my wife. And my wife says, wallahi, I've never seen my wife more happy in the house with the kids. Wallahi, she loves it. But she says, wallahi, I'm be like I sometimes say to her, you know what I say to her sometimes? I sometimes say to her, if you want a part-time job, you can't go get a part-time job for you, not for me. She says, I'm happy. I'm happy. Feminism has destroyed women. You know why? 
Push me! You want to be the leader? Be the leader. Be the leader. Be the leader. Wallahi Azim, Wallahi Azim, only a man who's a simp will say yes to that. A man who is a real man will not come and say, I'm going to marry you, you're going to be the leader, you're going to pay for the rent. Wallahi, he's a boy. You want to see that thing? Boy, you're a boy. Oksambilai, you're a boy. A man who provides, a woman is hyperbolic by her nature. That's why if you look at studies, women date across and up. Meaning, a woman's expectation for a man, he has to be some kind of a man that looks like a man. Go and look at studies, bro. Ask any sister, would you marry a guy who's this tall? Can he walk in next to you? Can you imagine? Uh, it's her nature. We don't blame her. She wants a man who's taller. The studies show you know what was their criteria? Six foot four. Probably doesn't even exist. Probably zero to zero point one percent. A woman then. No, this is how that is how women are. We accept them how they are. You don't accept us how we are. I accept. I accept every man. Okay, men. Okay, men want to be leaders. Men want to. Men want to be protectors. Men want to be providers. Men want to be the main source of the house. I'll accept that. Fine. So you're saying I want to be the leader. I was forced to be the leader. Good. So I'm saying. I'm forced to lead myself. Of course you can lead yourself. No, but. No, no, no. I know, I know. But a man, in his nature, he wants to be the one. Now, what is obedience to me? When I say this, this is a like, I'm talking about now. I was agreeing with him up to now. Obedience. Meaning, it doesn't mean I come and get sick and stuff ahead, bang, and make me lasagna. You know, bang, this was too salty. We're talking about that. Yeah? Is that some sort of obedience is that for example, obviously loyalty, etc. The man is a the man is a leader, he makes decisions. Like for example, in my household, sometimes I'll plan the day. We're gonna do blah, 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 blah. My wife will come and say, you know what, instead of going there, let's go here. That's a banging idea, bro. I'm even for that. Let's go, let's do it. It's not like, no, I'm the man, bro. How, you, how dare you come and tell me where to go? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, I feel like the man in the house. Yeah? And that's why men, most of the time, when they married a woman are hot headed, bro, I'm a man, and I see masculine face in her. He's putting me off. I want, I want feminine. Your femininity, wallahi, I'll tell you something. If a woman explores her femininity, wallahi, a man, you can do anything with a man. You know, like a, like a puppet. Yeah? Because your femininity is your strongest thing. And guess what? The man's biggest desire is what? I was sexual urges. We're talking about sexual studies. Right? Studies. A man's sexual urges is not compared to a woman. So, meaning, sister, if you capitalize on your femininity, wallahi, you've got the man on your finger. You've got him around your finger. But sisters think the more manly I become a boss babe and this time what are you putting me on? You're moving like a man, I didn't marry a man. Sometimes men use, use their leadership and their masculinity to an advantage to control women. Okay. That's the main problem. Okay, good point, good point, good point. And then they say in the name of Islam, this is what Allah wants to do. And that is the big give me an example, let's be more specific. Because that's going to be a fact. Give me an example. Like, what is it that they do, they oppress? Think of, think of something. I, 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 so like my dad, for example. Let's not go personal, because there's cameras. Let's not go personal. Yeah? Okay, this, okay, this is very interesting. Because these things might stem from. Yeah? So, anyone that's recording this, blur the sister's face. Yeah? Okay, blur her face. Okay. Anyone that doesn't blur her face, I'm going to send it straight to their channel. Yeah? Okay, no, 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 but it's very important. Because you know, sometimes we talk to people and we use logical arguments. It's actually something pertaining to something that's happening, be their husband, brother, or father. Yeah? Okay. So, sometimes what happens with our sisters is when we say, I want a woman that's obedient, they think, oh, my dad, who used to abuse my mom and beat her up, black and blue. We're not talking about that, right? We are not talking about that. Sister, sister, sister. Issues with men in Islam. No, sister. That's generalized. You're putting put all of us in that same category. Why is it not when I generalize? When you generalize, it's a When do I generalize? When I said about men. No, no, but that's facts. I'm, talk I'm talking about men in general. That's all generalization. Okay. Yes, but it's a fact generalization. I'm giving facts. Generalization. Factual that men generalization. Yes, yes, yes. I'm saying it's factual generalization. Yes, sister, sister. For example, I'll give you another generalization, yeah? Okay. Uh, I don't want to be talking about Okay, most women are shorter than men. I didn't realize it's a fact. Most men are stronger than women. It's a fact of over generalization. But you're saying both. No, next. But there's exceptions to the rule. There are women that can knock out a man. That's an exception to the rule, but exceptions don't make the rule. Yeah? So what I'm saying is, men. But the rule changes. No, no man, no man will ever say, I want my husband, uh, my wife to leave. I want my wife to be boss babe. <laughs> <laughs> Can you meet a friend who's a woman, but 
No, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. That's what men want. That's what men want to do. No, 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 men, real men, real men want a boss face. You know why? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If my wife was a dustbin collector, she was on the road to the Wallah, it don't mean nothing to me. A man judges a woman by her past, and a woman judges a man by his future. So he looks at a man and says, like, okay, what's he doing for himself? Is, is it not haram for, is it not haram for someone to think But this is where I'm saying you need to understand a man's psychology. For a man, a woman's past, look, this is somebody who's Muslim, forget Muslim men, yeah? Muslim men, men. There was a question I saw a YouTube video, yeah? They say, you know what they say to the man? Would you rather have 50,000 pounds in debt? Or that your Why girlfriend not? has got 50 bodies. She has 50,000 pounds in debt. But, but the man needs to work with him. No, no, the man no, needs to no, work with no, him. No, 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 like, no. This is how a man is created. No. Shall I tell you? Okay, you know what? You know what? There's a reason why he's converted to Islam. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No, 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 no you're missing, you're you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Let me make something clear. I'm not saying a sister with a past who's repentant cannot ask for a man who. I'm not saying that. Let's make that clear. Aki, Aki, ignore him. Aki, please. Aki, bro, ignore him. Go speak to a tree better. He has more benefit than the middle Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please. I beg you, ignore him. Let's get started, yeah? What I'm saying is, if a woman has repented, that's fine. I'm not saying her past. I'm not saying you judge her by her past. You get it? A woman who's repented has a right to ask for a virgin guy. But what I'm saying is, in the man's psychology, yes, he does not want a woman who's been around. But then we need to change. Okay, then we need to change that. And no, 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 we don't. All we say is a woman who's been around. You might be lying, but the thing is, what, that's what we say to you. This is the man's psychology. You know what I'm trying to say? Sister, 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 don't, 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 sister, sister, yeah, yeah, discuss it, yalla, yeah, 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 yes, yes, sister, 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 just, just, just leave it, please, act like nobody's passing, just, like, do this, the wind goes away, please, yeah, so, so, what I'm saying is this, yeah, the moment, the reason why there's these gender wars happening is because men are not men anymore and women are not women anymore, okay, the, the, the roles have reversed, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to have the own money. You know how many divorce rates happen amongst Muslim uh, couples? They go and the same as one Muslim. Why? Is Why? That? Why is that? Because men are not men, women are not women anymore. Is it, is that, is it because men are not men and women are yes. not women? Or is it because some men and some women are using their femininity or their masculinity in the name of Islam to take advantage? Which one is it? Okay, so, well, well, that, that can be the case as well. Like, for example, a woman can take the, her advantage of her femininity by blackmailing the husband. How? By the hadith that we gave. If the husband says, come, I want to have intimacy with you, and she says, no, she's blackmailing him with her femininity. Do you accept that? Yeah. Good. And now a man with his masculinity will come and say, no, the Quran has said you have to stay at home, shut up, boom. Or whatever it may be, yeah? There's understanding to that, yeah? Do you not think that that is majority, that is the biggest reason why it's not? No, I'm just saying that can be one part of it. I'm saying that can be one point of it. That can be... Do you believe that men can kill women are like that women are like women? No, I know, because why? Because women want to be book based And men want to be sick. Men are happy. Yeah, you go work, I'll stay at home. That needs to change. But do you not see that now in today's society, men are becoming more, more like women. Feminine. Feminine. They're becoming more, let's say, extreme in their behavior. Not what kind of women? Leadership, how, how can you be a woman? Are you talking about toxic masculinity? No such thing exists. What about toxic femininity? Let's talk about the past. No, no, no. no, no let's talk, no, one second. Toxic, what toxic masculinity? It's like being over Okay, no problem. Your, your privilege as a man. No, no, one second. Why do we have toxic femininity? Why are we? Toxic? No, we do don't. No, we don't. We do not. We do not have it. So I'm asking why is the whole standard? Toxic masculinity. Okay, let's suppose they exist. What is toxic masculinity? You know what toxic masculinity? You know what the the, the, the line is now? Being a man. To be a man. To say I want to be a traditional man. Toxic masculinity. Huh? A traditional man that imposes on the back of women. That is toxic. What do you mean by imposes? So if he if he wants if he wants intimacy from his wife, if you yeah no no hold on a second, one second. Does a man have a right to tell his wife that he doesn't want her to uh, not wear lipstick, or he doesn't want her to wear no hijab, or doesn't want her to wear tight clothes? Is that toxic femininity? It's, 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 it's
No, no, one second, one second, one second. No, one second, one second. He is allowed to say that to her. He's allowed to say it, but he's and, not and she, to it. Yes, she, yes, he can. And guess what? If a woman, if a man is going out topless, his wife can tell him it's haram to show you cover your aura. It's his impose, she has to impose it on him. But that's okay. But that's not behind. Because she's now telling someone who's going to show you. And the woman will listen to the man as well. But you said that's not emasculinity. Okay, what do you mean by force? When he says, oh, you're doing that, you can't Yeah, 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 okay, okay, one second. If, if, if a man says, now when you say force, is he grabbing her by the neck? Is he putting a gun to her head? Is there a knife? What's going on? But, and, and, and he needs to have a forceful manipulation. Okay, no problem. If he says, if he says to his, uh, his wife, you're wearing red lipstick, it's, I don't like it, I don't want you to wear it, if you do, I will divorce you. No problem, no problem, no problem. Is he alright? Okay, good. Can a woman. No, no, okay. Can a woman now come and say, um, you are sometimes speaking to sisters and you're, I don't like it. And if you do, I will speak to both. Is that, 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 that? Okay, why? Why should she do? Why is she speaking to another girl? I don't care if it's sisters. He calls them sisters. Maybe trying to move to them. You know, all he's got a star with. I'm trying to give a dawa. Now, come on. You know, I'll keep a dawa to yourself. No, but that's why they feel alright. Because why is he? I mean, if it's a second wife, it's still a bit deep, but at least there's three, three ways to go about it. But if he's continuing talking to that different girl, come on, you're violating the rights. Why are you speaking to other girls? Why are you speaking to other girls? Because the thing is here, she has a right to force him in, in, in a specific instance and say, if you carry this on, I will seek divorce. And she will have a right to divorce. Okay, alright, no problem. Um, speak to girls, um, do what you like. You go out in miniskirts, uh, bikini, in no Islam, problem. In Islam, you have to do right. <laughs> it's not so, it's right. You have to do right. Go, go on. But you are being haram. You're being haram. No, no, but I said, no, we are, we are the leaders and we will be responsible. I know, but as a, as a leader, yeah. Yeah, but we're talking about Islam. Yeah, we're talking about okay, Islam. Okay, then you don't have that right. But there are some of you and you and you. No, no, there isn't. I have a right to tell my wife that I don't wait for a lipstick. Period. Yeah, you can do that. No, no, I can't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's what I'm saying, though. That's the point. Do I become masculine now? Am I, am I a misogynist now? Am I, no, of course I'm not going to go, hey, don't worry, I'm not going to shank you up. I'm going to say, look, you know, in a romantic way, maybe give a little flower there, you know, I'm going to make a lasagna today. You can do something. Come on, I'm not saying go like, you know what, look, I don't like you wearing that. Okay, appreciate it because I love you, you're my wife, I don't want next man looking at you. What's the reason? I'm going to go up like, no, you're not wearing it. Come on, let's just give it up. There's a way of delivering it. You know what I'm trying to say? And it's the same with the I'm saying there's a way of delivering it. I know, but he has a right to say that. And a woman has a... Okay, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. And the woman has a right to say, I don't appreciate that you are messaging me. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's all. I'm going to say... Can you give a high five to that sister instead of me? Go. No, for the statement, give a high five. Because, you know, because I, I can't hear it, so I listen to the halal way. Because what you said was an amazing point. Mashallah. So we're on the same page. Yeah. Very good. What are we arguing over? You tell me. Are we on the same page? You tell me. Alhamdulillah. That's all I'm saying. Because who, in your mind, is this thing that I don't accept? Well, it was when we first started, when you said about angels cursing. Yeah. doesn't mean I have to take it. You have to completely take it. Full. Allah says in the Quran, when Allah, no, Allah says in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, when Allah and His Messenger decide something, it is not for the believer to, oh, no, 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 no. Did He say it? Like, like Abu Bakr, why is He known as a Siddiq? Because the Quraysh came to Him and said, you know your, your, your companion, the Prophet, he said he flew to Jerusalem. Well, look at this, well, why is so deep? He goes to, you know what he said to them? Okay. He goes, did he say that? He goes, yeah, Abu That's how we should be. Anyway, sister, may Allah bless you. You're still young, you're 17. Yeah? What I'm saying is, the right Islam has given you, keep to that, because that's the best thing you have. No feminism, red pill, none of this stuff is going to give you to the men and to the women. There's nothing they're going to offer that Allah and His Messenger has. The moment we stick to that which we have, Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you, we will prosper. The moment we start doubting that God doesn't make sense to me, is where we're going to go into avenues where you can even leave us to May Allah bless you again, forgive me if I became a passionate. I get very excited sometimes, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, that, that's it, that's all I want to say. May Allah bless you, brother. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.